How did, did the Roman aqueducts function? The Roman aqueduct was a waterway used to bring fresh water to highly populated areas. Aqueducts were extraordinary achievements of engineering given the historical period. While ancient Egypt and India constructed aqueducts, the Romans created a far more extensive and sophisticated network spanning their domains. Parts of modern-day France, Spain, Greece, North Africa, and Turkey all retain remnants of their historic aqueduct systems. Aqueducts required a considerable deal of planning. They were created from a system of pipelines, tunnels, canals, and bridges. Gravity and the natural slope of the ground allowed aqueducts to convey water from a fresh water source, such as a lake or spring, to a city. As water came into the cities, it was used for drinking, irrigation, and to supply hundreds of public fountains and baths. Roman aqueduct systems were developed over a period of nearly 500 years, from 312 BC to AD 226. Both public and private monies paid towards construction. High-ranking rulers often had them built, the Roman emperors Augustus, Caligula, and Trajan all ordered aqueducts built. The most noticeable aspect of Roman aqueducts may be the bridges created utilizing rounded stone arches. A few of these are still around, and you can spot them as you travel through Europe's valleys. However, these bridging structures made up only a minor percentage of the hundreds of kilometers of aqueducts throughout the empire. The capital in Rome alone had roughly 11 aqueduct systems bringing fresh water from sources as far as 92 kilometers away, 57 miles. Some of Rome's ancient aqueducts are still in use today, supplying the city with water. The iconic Trevi fountain in the center of Rome is still supplied with water by the Aqua Virgo Aqueduct, which was built by Agrippa in 19 BC during Augustus' reign.